Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to my channel. Back for another episode. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a Yahtzee game simulation. And I have my dog Oliver with me today. He's not feeling so good. He got he got fixed today, so he's just kind of hanging out with me and he's got this cone on his head and so yeah, thought you guys might like to know how he's doing. He'll he'll be better next time though. So let's get right into it. So this this video was inspired by um, Number File. Uh, Brady has a video where he rolls rolls a Yahtzee on the first try, and um, I, you know it's kind of cool because oh, I got my output console here. It's cool because they, they they just roll the Yahtzee and on the first try all of them hit the same. So I'm like, oh, wouldn't that be cool to kind of do that test for myself? But I'm lazy, so <laughs> I didn't want to roll it like seven thousand times to get a. That'd be the average expected number of times to roll a six dice Yahtzee on the first try. So what I did was I wrote a little computer program uh, in Python. Uh, the IDE I'm using is Ignition. And um, here's the results. So basically, uh, you can see right here, this is um, this is the simulation that I wrote. Right now it's doing four dice. But once it hits a four dice Yahtzee, it'll go to five, then go to six. Um, let's see, let's close this right here. Once it hits the Yahtzee, it's going to roll on to the next one and it's going to store that information in a database. So here's the, the data that we've collected, how many dice we rolled, how many, uh, the minimum number of times it rolled to take a roll of Yahtzee, the maximum number of times, the average. And so the idea here is that over time it'll regress to the average. And you see right here when we first started out it was way off the average but continue to zoom, zone in and, and hit that average. And so basically, yeah, that's a lot of large numbers. You can see we just rolled a four dice Yahtzee. It took 598 rolls to roll four fives. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't have to do that myself. But so the idea here is um, basically this is kind of uh, not really useful. I mean, we all know that you can just calculate what the average is. And yeah, some are going to be low, some are going to be high. You know, this is kind of how the casinos work. They have the law of large numbers, and that's why they're always going to win at the end of the day. So, but the usefulness here is, I wrote this script. You know, I did these little objects. I like making the objects. Oh, Oliver! Oh, he's not feeling good. Sorry, Oliver. Oh, poor guy. Let me set you down. Oh, I love that guy. He's a trooper. Yeah, so where were we? So yeah, um, law of large numbers, the av expected average is going to, the average is gonna regress to the expected average, and we all know that. Um, you know, I'm using the random, random number generator in Python, and so we know that it's going to automatically kind of line up with a more or less average, completely random number between one or six. And we're gonna push that into here, and then you know check to see if it's a, if it's Yahtzee. And um, you guys can look at the source code. I'm going to upload this template to Cloud Templates when I'm done here. And um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you liked, see, liked Oliver in the video and if you want to see him again. Maybe he's going to get better here in a few weeks. So uh, my next video I'm going to be doing is going to be talking about using JSON data type in MySQL. So fall, uh, stay tuned in for that video and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Oliver, come here.